Hey everyone, Devo here. Today we'll be talking about Tag Tamer. Now, Tag Tamer is a uh, an implementation solution that just came out maybe one month ago or so, and it's designed to help people with their tagging strategy. So it helps you tag resources or search for resources across multiple accounts, multiple regions from one single interface. Um, it's supposed to be, or it's supposed to have some features that are not available through something like resource groups, uh, which is limited to your specific account. And this deployment comes with an EC2 instance that has a web interface. And then from that web interface, uh, you log in and then you're able to apply, uh, the tagging of the resources that you need to do. So here are some of the features, uh, that tag tamer claims to be able to do i haven't gone through all of them but there's some really good stuff in here uh, and so to start deploying this we need to have uh, executed a couple of the prerequisites two prerequisites are kind of the the most important ones the first one is you'll need to have a, an icm certificate to apply to your deployment if you're using the public version of the deployment uh, it deploys an ec2 instance on a uh, public subnet sorry it launches a load balancer on a public subnet uh, which is where you apply the certificate that you need to have beforehand if you launch the private version of it it's going to use a private subnet so you need to have access to the vpc network to be able to connect to it in this video we're going to use the public deployment so i already happen to have a certificate if you don't uh, you can go get one and then for the second requirement we need to have an email address verified through the ses service and we need to apply this policy to that email account so that Cognito can use that email address to send emails out. So again, I uh, need a certificate and you need to have a valid email address. So to get started with the email address validation, I'm going to go into the SES service. I'm going to verify a new email address that I'm going to create for this deployment. The email address is going to be my email, davaclock plus tagtamer at gmail.com. And I'm going to switch to my email to click on the verification email that is sent to me. I'm going to click on that link. And now the email is verified. If I refresh my Amazon console, I'll see that the email has been verified. And now I need to create or add an identity policy so that Cognito can actually use this email to send emails out. So I'm going to copy the ARN for the SES address. I'm going to copy the policy from the documentation and I'm going to go ahead and uh, give it a name. So maybe tag team or policy and add policy. All right, next up, uh, we've done our email. Let's go ahead and copy the CloudFormation template URL. As I mentioned before, we have two ways of deploying this private version or public version. I'm going to do the public one. So I'm going to copy the template location. I'm going to go into uh, the CloudFormation service. And I'm going to deploy a new stack. It's going to ask us for a couple of details here. Uh, let's give it a stack name of Tag Tamer. This is where we put in our certificate, which I already have. Again, if you're deploying a private version of this, you don't need the certificate at this point. We're doing the public one, so that's our certificate ARN. Next up, we need to define who's going to be able to access this service. For now, this is a test environment, so I'm just going to allow everything. And finally, we need to define what email address Cognito is going to use to send emails out. We're going to put in the email we just verified with SES. I'm also going to add a couple of my AWS accounts to test the cross account tag tamer uh, functionality. And this will allow us to reference multiple accounts. On the next screen, we want to be able to give a role to the cloud to CloudFormation. I happen to have a CloudFormation admin role that already trusts the CloudFormation service. And we can use that to create the resources that tag tamer requires. And finally, we can go ahead and create a stack. It's going to take about three to four minutes to execute. Once it's finished, we'll see the load balancer endpoint under the outputs tab. And it's going to give us a link to log into Attack Tamer. Before we actually log in, there's a few things we need to 
do first. There's a couple of uh, prerequisite steps that we need to complete before we're able to log in. And those are these options here that you see here. So we have to go into our identity pool configuration incognito, make a few adjustments there. We need to log into the EC2 instance to enable multi-region. And then finally, we need to be able to then log into the interface. So let's see how that goes. All right, so CloudFormation has completed. Uh, we see that all the outputs that we require. One of the next steps as far as the documentation goes, as we saw before, is we need to go and configure the identity pool configuration for Cognito. If you click on this, it tells us we need to go into the identity pool, authentication providers, and then there's gonna be a drop down menu to choose a role from token from the authenticated role section. And then uh, the resolution is gonna be denied. So it's, if it's not able to, if when you log in, if you don't pass a role, it's gonna deny that access. So let's go ahead into our Cognito service. Identity pools. This is the pool that was created for us by Tag Tamer. And edit identity pool. Let's scroll down to authentication providers. This is the selection role from the token and the resolution is deny. Let's go ahead and save changes. And before we leave the screen, we wanna make sure we go all the way up and we go ahead and copy the ID of the pool because we'll need it to create the role later on. So let's create a role. It's gonna be a web identity role for Cognito and the user pool is the one we just copied over. So let's go ahead and permissions Let's select administrator role, uh, sorry, administrator policy. What you want to do actually is create a policy with specific tag permissions. For this video, I'm just going to go ahead and choose administrator just to be more, uh, to just have a, a more simple setup. And finally, let's give it a name, Cognito Tag Tamer. And let's go ahead and create the role. And what we want to do next is let's head over to user pools on Cognito. Let's create a user. So I'm going to make it tag tamer. Give it a temporary password, fake phone number, and my email address. It's going to give us this message. We don't really care too much about it. The user has been created as we see. And let's go ahead and create a new group. Uh, the group name doesn't matter. I'm just going to make it Tag Tamer. For the role, we want to select the role we just created. So that's going to be Cognito Tag Tamer for us. Create a group and then let's add the user we just created to this new group. That's going to give us permission when we log into Cognito. It's going to allow us to assume this role, which is going to give the web application access to list of resources. Next up, let's head over to our CloudFormation outputs. Let's open up our Tag Tamer URL. Let's log in with the account we just created. Tag Tamer. It's going to ask us to create a new password. I'm just going to select the exact same password I created originally. And now we're able to see the Tag Tamer web interface. All right, so let's do a first quick check. Uh, let's use the first function here. So this gives us the ability to show or list resources under our account or accounts and this is kind of our filter so let's not select anything that should show us all the ec2 instances uh, on 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 all accounts in the regions of, that we've specified so far i have not added multi-region we have added a couple of accounts but i have not created roles on those accounts so that's going to be the next step but we should at least be able to see instances on the default region on the default account and we do see two instances found this is the instance created by Tag Tamer. It has a couple of predefined tags, and the other instance is, is an instance that I have that does that does not have any other tags applied to it. So let's go ahead and figure out multi-region and multi-account access. So for multi-region, let's head over to EC2, and I'm going to connect to the Tag Tamer EC2 instance through Session Manager, and there's going to be a configuration file that we need to change. If you look into the documentation to allow multi-region support, 
we need to log into the EC2 instance, which we did. There's a configuration file. I'm going to put that in my clipboard and I'm going to go ahead and open that file. It's a JSON file. Permission in night. So let me switch over to work real quick. Try that again. And under additional regions, this is a list. So I'm going to just add US West 2. Save that. And I do need to restart the tag team service. Okay, so to test out the multi-region, let's log into, let's log back into Tag Tamer, the exact same search that I did before. Let's search for all the instances. And now we should see that it's able to find resources on the West 2 region, on which I do have one instance. And we do see that it's able to find the instance. Both instances that I do have do not have any tags on them. So let's go ahead and figure out how to apply tags to these two instances that don't have any tags. So let's go back home. Let's create a tag group. And this is a predefined set of tags within the group that you can use to apply multiple tags at once. We don't have any tag groups existing. So I'm going to create a new tag group one. Okay. And, um, Let's define the key for the tag group. So I'm going to make this say, for example, name. If I want to make them all to have a particular name, I can do that. For the value, I can choose one of the existing values that it finds on some other tags. If not, I can create my own, my, my, my own value. I'm going to call this name from tag tamer update tag group. And now I have a group called tag group one, which has a key and called name from uh, with a value name from tag tamer all right so if i go into home i want to apply this tag group that i just created into a set of instances so i'm going to select this same search as before it's going to show me all the instances and now i'm able to select which instances i want to apply this to. i'm going to choose the two instances that are not part of the tag tamer application and, uh, and I'm going to apply this tag. I can apply all the tags within the tag group, or I can choose one specific one. I'm going to do this one. Tag selected resources, and it should succeed. There we go. So if I go back into my interface, EC2. So now we have a previously unnamed instance. Now it has the name from Tag Tamer and under Tags, we see that that's the name that it was applied. And if we go to the US West 2 region, we'll see another instance with the exact same tag. So we can apply tags to instances uh, based on our selection across multiple regions. Now let's figure out how to grant cross account access. So the documentation gives us a policy to apply to a role on each account we need access to. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this whole policy first. That's what we need to use to create policies on the target accounts. I'm going to go ahead into each of the accounts that we configured. Let's go to the first one. I'll head over to the IAM service. Let's first create a policy. paste from the documentation and the name doesn't really matter tag tamer policy after the policy is created we'll go ahead and create a role the create the the role is going to uh, be cross account so we need to grant access to the uh, account where tag tamer is okay Let's go ahead and add the permissions, which is the policy we just created, which should be tag tamer policy. And the role name has to match the exact same role name of the uh, tag tamer account, which we named Cognito tag tamer. If it's not the same name, it's going to fail access, which is not very clear in the documentation. So we want to make sure that it's put in place pro pro uh, properly. So that's one account. Let's go ahead and do the exact same thing on the other account. 
So now we're back to the Tag Tamer interface. Let's go back to our listing. Let's again select EC2s with no filters. Because we have more accounts, it takes longer for credentials to be processed. It has to go through different accounts uh, to va validate access. And let's do a search with no specific filters. And now we're able to access uh, the other two accounts that we had created. Again, um, both regions are available to us. Uh, and I have some instances on those target accounts, such as this one, for example. And we're, again, we're able to find them if we can. There's a little bug here where it would sometimes it says it found a resource. When in reality, it doesn't exist. Uh, so that's a little bug that I think they're working out. Uh, but again, we're able to apply tags to those as well. So let's go ahead and tag existing instances, EC2. No filters. If you wanted to filter, we could actually use this. Uh, this is able to retrieve all the potential, all the post all the possible values for a tag key, along with all possible values for a value as well. So you could use this to, to filter as well. Let's go ahead and uh, do cross account tagging. So let's select uh, this instance from this account. Uh, let's just do that one because that's the only one that has no tags. Again, so let's do our Existing tag group. And it's been tagged successfully. Let's log into that account and check it out. So I have access to the other account now. So head over to EC2. There's going to be an EC2 instance. And uh, we do see the tag come in. So there's going to be a, there's a lot of features associated with this. I'm not going to go into this ones. So I haven't really tested them. The idea is that you'll be able to assign your tag group to specific uh, policies on uh, config. So you have tag policies on AWS config that's able to monitor your account uh, to ensure that specific tags are being applied. Uh, it does not support today um, config aggregation. So if you have an organization and then you're using a config rule to monitor tags across multiple accounts through the organization. It does not support that today, so it would be have to be done through the cross-account configuration we saw today. And then there's other features for service catalog. I'm not sure if this is supported or not. I do have a service catalog product, which is not visible from here, so I'm thinking maybe that's not a feature available yet. Uh, and then active role-based tagging allows you to tag IAM roles uh, with tax from your tag group as well. I tested it, it didn't really work. So maybe that uh, that's something they're working on as well. Okay, that's all there is to it. I hope some of you get to actually deploy it, test it out. Feel free to drop by the official GitHub repository with some feedback and good luck.